There are certain skill sets that a product designer needs to be successful at their job and today I thought I would go over my top 7 skills. Before we dive into the skill set, let's first get a look at what a product designer does. A product designer works closely with the product team to bring the product vision to life. Of course, depending on the company, a product designer might be embedded on a cross-functional team, which is usually the case. The product designer tends to focus on the end-to-end -end user experience and in some companies, the feasibility and viability of the product. Now, day-to-day -day may vary from company to company, but a product designer could find themselves running product discovery activities like design sprints, user research, working with engineering to determine the outcome of the discovery session, draw up quick prototypes and mock-ups to validate or invalidate ideas really quickly, uh, talking with customers and stakeholders to understand pain points uh, from both sides, and the list could go on and on. With this wide array of responsibilities, a minimum skill set is necessary to add to your toolbox. So here are my top seven skill set that a product designer needs. One, excellent listening skills. This is number one because as a product designer, you should be doing less talking and more active listening to uncover pain points that users sometimes don't even know they have and to be aware of personal biases that could ruin research data. Confirmation bias is a big one and this is when you look for any piece of data that agrees with your preconceived ideas and assumptions and you allow that to become your source of truth. So. Listen more, talk less, ask questions. Number two, communication. As a product designer, you will be facilitating a good bit of discovery sessions, so you will need to have an excellent communication skill to lead and align teams together. And in a remote setting, over communication is even more vital. Number three, a great storyteller. Now managing the product experience from end to end and presenting research findings, is huge. Your research findings should shape your story. Use analogies where necessary, especially tapping back to your personas. As a product designer, you should learn how to tell a good story that explains and describes the user pain point as well as the business pain point and the solution that combines both. Number four, able to take critique and bounce back really quickly, especially from negative feedback. Learn to take critique as opportunities to learn and grow as opposed to a failure or some lack of ability that you don't have as a product designer. Number five, able to make design decisions at a moment's notice. Sometimes you need to test ideas really quickly, so deciding which to test is important. Try to lean on your research data and you definitely don't want to test too many ideas because then that can come become a distraction really quickly and the main problem that needs solving can get really diluted. So the more problems you have to solve, you kind of need to narrow it down and prioritize. Number six, a natural collaborator. You will be working across multiple teams, so you need to sharpen your collaborative people skills. It's really important uh, in your role and being able to get the information that you need from the right people. And lastly, number seven, have a growth mindset. The industry is evolving. You will need to evolve too, just like the products evolve. You need to keep learning, you need to keep growing, and you need to keep sharpening your skills. Do not get content. Do not uh, just sit still and feel like, oh, I've achieved the most learning I can and no longer need to learn. No, you keep learning and keep growing and keep evolving your skill set. So if you notice, none of the skills I mentioned are hard skills like prototyping tools or collaborative tools. Uh, don't get me wrong, those are also important, but not as important as skills necessarily for you to work with other people. Anyone can learn to use a prototyping tool without a great collaborative spirit. So that's my take on the skills the product designer needs to be effective. What's your take? 
Do you agree or disagree or even have more skills that I may have missed in this video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you've learned something new, definitely share the knowledge with others by hitting that share button. If you're interested in more content like this, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and join the channel by subscribing and tapping on the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.